Ever wondered how to choose the best dividend stocks? Well, you're not alone. The world of dividend stocks can seem like a labyrinth, but it doesn't have to be. Dividends are portions of a company's profits distributed to shareholders. They are a key aspect of investing, offering a steady income and potential for growth. In this video, we'll be your guide, simplifying the complex and unveiling the secrets to dividend stock selection. We'll discuss how to seek indicators of long-term profitability, why cash is indeed king, the importance of trust in track records, how to delve into debt details, and the significance of comparative analysis. We'll also talk about looking beyond high yields and why this matters. Each of these steps brings us closer to the goal of selecting the best dividend stocks, a journey that will enrich your investing acumen and ultimately, your portfolio. So buckle up, as we unveil the secrets to selecting the best dividend stocks. First off, focus on indicators of long-term profitability. The beauty of dividend stocks lies in a company's ability to generate profits consistently. It's these profits that are shared among shareholders as dividends. But how do you gauge this profitability? Look for companies that have a track record of increasing their earnings annually. Ideally, you want to see growth between 5 and 15 percent. Anything beyond 15 percent might seem attractive but could be a sign of unsustainable growth that may not last. So, where do you find this information? MarketBeat is a reliable source. Simply visit a company's profile page and click on the Earnings tab. This will give you an overview of the company's annual earnings, allowing you to assess its long-term profitability. But remember, profitability isn't just about the numbers, it's also about the company's business model, its competitive advantage, and its future growth prospects. So, while you're on market beat, take some time to understand the company's operations and strategies. In the end, the goal is to ensure that the company you're investing in has a strong foundation for long-term growth. Because only a company that is consistently profitable can commit to paying regular dividends to its shareholders. Remember, a profitable company is more likely to pay out dividends consistently. So, make long-term profitability a top priority in your search for the perfect dividend stocks. Moving on to the second step, always remember, cash is king. In the world of dividends, this adage rings particularly true. To distribute dividends, a company needs to have a healthy stream of cash. This is where free cash flow or FCF comes into play. Free cash flow is simply the cash a company generates from its operations, minus its capital expenditures. It's the cash that's free to be distributed to shareholders as dividends, used for share buybacks, or invested back into the business for growth. So, when you're evaluating a potential dividend stock, it's crucial to take a good look at the company's free cash flow. However, it's not just about having a lot of cash, it's about how that cash is used. If a company is allocating a large chunk of its free cash flow to dividends, it could be a red flag. Why? Because it may mean that the company isn't investing enough in its own growth. It could signal that the company is stagnating, and that's not a good sign for long-term dividend sustainability. Instead, look for companies that strike a balance. They should be using their free cash flow for dividends, yes, but also for share buybacks, investing in growth opportunities, and maintaining a healthy cash reserve. So when you're out there hunting for the best dividend stocks, keep your eyes on the cash. A company with a healthy cash flow is a promising candidate for your dividend stock portfolio. The third step involves trusting in track records. Now, you might be thinking, why is history so important? Especially when we're dealing with the ever-changing stock market. Well, it's simple. A company's dividend payment history can offer a wealth of insights. It can act like a mirror, reflecting the company's financial health, management's dedication to shareholders, and resilience in the face of economic cycles. So, what should you look for in a company's dividend payment history? A critical indicator is consistency. Look for companies that have not only paid dividends but have done so consistently for at least five consecutive years. This shows stability and a commitment to returning profits to shareholders. But don't just stop at consistency. Go a step further and look for companies that have consistently increased their dividends every year. This speaks volumes about their financial health and growth. The ability to increase dividends annually, especially during tough economic times, is a testament to a company's robust business model and resilient profitability. Here's where things get interesting. Companies that have managed to increase their dividends annually for extended periods earn special titles. Those who have done so for 25 straight years become dividend aristocrats. 
while those who have achieved this for 50 consecutive years are crowned as dividend kings. These titles are more than just fancy names. They are badges of honor in the investment world, signaling companies with a proven track record of stable growth and shareholder value creation. Being a dividend aristocrat or king is not an easy feat. It requires a company to have a sustainable business model, discipline management, and a commitment to its shareholders. These companies are often industry leaders with a competitive edge, making them prime candidates for your dividend stock portfolio. But remember, past performance is not a guarantee of future results. It's always important to consider other factors like a company's earnings, cash flow, and debt levels. However, a consistent dividend payer is often a safer bet. So trust the track records. They may just lead you to your next great dividend stock investment. Next up, it's time to delve into debt details. You see, a company's debt situation plays a pivotal role in its ability to perform and thrive. Overburdened by excessive debt, a company can find itself in a tight spot, struggling to maintain operations let alone pay dividends. So, how do we assess a company's debt situation? The debt-to-equity ratio is a valuable tool. This ratio compares a company's total liabilities to its shareholder equity. It gives us an insight into how a company is financing its operations and how much of the business is owned by shareholders versus creditors. A high debt-to-equity ratio, usually over two, could indicate that the company is overly reliant on borrowed money. This poses a risk, as it may become more difficult for the company to generate enough profit to cover its debt obligations. But don't stop there. Other important metrics to consider are the current and quick ratios. These liquidity ratios measure a company's ability to pay off its short-term liabilities with its short-term assets. A higher ratio indicates a better liquidity position, which in turn, suggests a stronger financial health. Remember, a company with a manageable debt situation is more likely to sustain operations, grow, and importantly for us, provide consistent dividends. So, keep a close eye on those debt details, they're more telling than you might think. A company with manageable debt levels is more likely to provide consistent dividends. Our last steps involve comparative analysis and looking beyond high yields. Imagine you're in an orchard trying to find the best apples. You wouldn't compare apples to oranges, would you? The same principle applies when choosing dividend stocks. You should be comparing a company's financial metrics with others in the same sector. It's about finding the best apple in the apple orchard. When you're looking at the Home Depot Inc., for instance, you should be comparing it to Lowe's, not McDonald's Corporation. Different sectors have different dividend expectations, profitability levels, and business models, making intersector comparisons less meaningful. Now let's move on to our final step, which is about looking beyond high yields. It's easy to get caught up in the allure of a high dividend yield. It's like a siren's call, tempting you with promises of high immediate returns, but you must resist this temptation. Why you ask? Well, a high dividend yield isn't always sustainable. It's like a tree producing an extraordinary amount of fruit one season. It might not be able to keep up that pace without depleting its resources. Companies with high yields could be overextending themselves and they might not be able to maintain those yields in the long run. So, instead of simply chasing high yields, evaluate other factors such as the company's debt and earnings history. Remember, we're looking for consistent and sustainable dividend payouts. Aim for an annual dividend yield between 2 and 5%. This range aligns with sector averages and offers a balance of income and stability. It's a lot like gardening. You could plant a fast-growing vine that covers your entire garden in a season, but it could choke out all the other plants. On the other hand, a slow and steady grower might not look as impressive at first, but it can provide a steady stream of growth and blooms for years to come. Choosing dividend stocks is a balancing act. You want a company that offers a good yield, but you also want to make sure it's sustainable and the company is fundamentally strong. It's not about swinging for the fences and hoping for a home run each time, it's about consistent singles and doubles. And remember, you don't have to do this alone. There are tools like MarketBeat's screening tool, which encompasses companies with a dividend yield over 4%, to aid your research in identifying high-yield dividend stocks. Remember, consistency is key when it comes to dividend yield. So, there you have it, the roadmap to successful dividend stock selection. To recap, we started by seeking indicators of long-term profitability, then we underlined the importance of cash, because, indeed, cash is king. We moved on to trusting and track records because consistency matters. We delved into debt details reminding ourselves that too much debt can stifle a company's growth. We then conducted a comparative analysis making sure to compare apples to apples not apples to oranges. And finally, 
we looked beyond high yields because sustainability is key. Remember, dividend stocks offer both reliable income and growth potential. They're a smart way to stay ahead of inflation while preserving wealth. And with tools like MarketBeat, your research can be simplified and streamlined. Investing in dividend stocks doesn't have to be complex. With these steps, you're well on your way to building a profitable dividend stock portfolio.